Now, all of a sudden, we get to 1860. What happened in 1860? Civil War. Son of a gun. And all of a sudden, title of nobility amendment is no longer printed. They just, what, erased it? How do you get rid of an amendment? With another amendment. Do you know of an amendment that gets rid of the titles of nobility amendment? No. So, if it was properly ratified, it's still in effect. And if it wasn't properly ratified, we can finish it. Imagine what would happen if we ratify the title of nobility amendment. <laughs> now, we could all go to Washington, D.C., we wave bye-bye to all the lawyers. Wouldn't that be great? So, now, I'm not saying whether the title of nobility amendment was properly ratified. I wasn't there. But I've given you two uh, websites. Well, first of all, a little... Uh, paragraph that says, yes, the Titles of Nobility Amendment was properly ratified, and another paragraph that suggests, well, maybe it wasn't, trying to be open-minded here. And then in back, I've got several uh, websites that will determine, uh, what page is that on? Uh, on page 51, I point you to three different websites that you can go to and research it on your own. Let me tell you in advance that one of the websites shows you photographs of this amendment printed in the books. I don't know. Looks pretty convincing to me. Now, so eventually, Civil War, we just sub forget about titles of nobility. Now we've got the 13th Amendment. 13th Amendment says no slavery. So, great. Whites and blacks are the same, right? No, we've now got to pass the 14th Amendment that creates U.S. citizens and gives blacks privileges. Privileges and rights are not the same thing. 14th Amendment was also not properly ratified. Oh, by the way. 15th Amendment, we finally give blacks suffrage. What is suffrage? Vote. The ability to vote. Right? When did women get suffrage. 1920. So girls, now you know how you rate relative to slaves. Okay. So, so basically, you know, um, it's all all landowners, and there were, there were some women who were landowners, but not many. Uh, Forty years. Right. You know. I, I guess I guess that means that slaves are worth more because you actually have to buy a slave. You know, you just got to get married and you know have her do all your laundry. You buy a wife. Have you ever seen what the price of dating is? Oh. <laughs> okay. So so women were allowed to vote with the Nineteenth Amendment, um, the Sixteenth Amendment. Sixteenth Amendment is also pretty controversial. It says that the uh, U.S can tax on income from any source derived. So if income is derived from source, then income and source are two different things. Even if we don't know what they are, an income is not a source. An income is derived from source. So what is a source? Well, we don't really get into that. The 16th Amendment was also not properly ratified. And Bill Benson's got a book, you probably all have read it, uh, The Law That Never Was. Um, the 17th Amendment. Change the way that we elect our senators. Prior to the 17th Amendment, the senators were elected by the state legislation. So that the state had some control over what happens in Washington. 17th Amendment allows us to elect our senators by popular vote. What does that move the United States towards? Democracy. Is <coughs> yeah. So, you know, ever since the Civil War, things have been Washington D.C. have been happening fast and loose, and they just say, "Oh, don't worry about it. Don't look at that man behind the curtain. Just trust us. <coughs> when we lie, we're Federalists. They are the anti-Federalists. We wouldn't lie." So, 
The 18th Amendment is when prohibition started. What were we prohibiting? Alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. Now, the 18th Amendment is unique because it's the only one that's ever been repealed. It was repealed by the 21st Amendment. Okay. It was repealed in 1933. Everybody heard of the uh, Budweiser Clydesdales? They were a celebration for the end of prohibition. We were so glad that alcohol wasn't illegal anymore, that Kaiser <coughs> Bush built this great big wagon to celebrate. Well, it was such a popular hit that they just kept it as their symbol ever since. So if anybody, you know, if you ever see the uh, Budweiser Clydesdales, you can say, well, that's been around since 1933 with the repeal of prohibition. Now, yeah. The, uh, the way that I remember that is that when I was growing up, some states you had to be 18 in order to drink, and in other states you had to be 21. So the 18th Amendment started prohibition, and the 21st Amendment repeals it. The 22nd Amendment, a president is limited to two terms in office. Why did that happen? Roosevelt. Yep. Roosevelt. We were a little bit uh, concerned that we might get a uh, an elected monarch, and so uh, we basically said, you know, two turns at bat and you're out of there. Twenty uh, third uh, gives District of Columbia electors as though it were a state. Why do we want to do that? I don't know. You know, how do we go back and undo that? You know, Washington D.C is a federal territory. Why should we give that federal territory any more power than it already has? Do you see a, a habit or a you know, pattern here? 24th, uh, elimination of the poll tax. We were going to allow blacks to vote. We are just going to charge them so much money that they couldn't. You know? uh, 25 is a formal procedure for overthrowing the president. After I memorize the Bill of Rights, that's the next one that I memorize. I want to know how to overthrow the president. Uh, 26, 18 year olds can vote even though they still can't think. <laughs> you know, what difference does it make? It doesn't count anyway. We're just going to let you pull a lever, you know, drive that little plastic steering wheel. Now, when was the last time we amended the Constitution? 1992. How many people were alive in 1992? How many people were sat up all night on television watching all this stuff go back and forth, listening to all the debates? You didn't even know it happened. You mean that they are going to amend the Constitution of the United States, the supreme law of the land, and you didn't even know it? Neither did I. How did they slip this past us? How can we, the people, be responsible for Congress if we don't even know that they're modifying the Constitution? 1992. That's not even 10 years ago yet. They know we're asleep. They know that we're asleep. It's like, ding, 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 ding. Somebody better wake up. And it better be us. Any questions on the other amendments? Why do you use A and C for the titles of nobility? <coughs> because there was a uh, another 13th Amendment. There was a B? There was a, a 13B that somebody said, okay, we're going to propose this, and then it, it just never happened. It was just before the Civil War, okay. and, and it got shot down. That was the one that Lincoln put through to justify slavery in certain states. Right. To keep the Union together. And it failed. Yeah, and it, it failed. So we've actually had three 13th Amendments. Okay, now, now we're going to talk about the real heart of the problem. I mean, Congress is bad, and the United States is in deep trouble. But I'm not going to point my finger just at Congress. We have the best money that Congress can buy. <laughs> Sigh. We're going to talk about...